Hello and welcome to another Book Bite preview. We're going to be covering the novel Mercy Suarez Changes Gears by Meg Medina. See if you are interested in this novel. Preview of the book says that sixth grader Mercy Suarez doesn't have a big house or take fancy vacations like the other kids at Seaward Pines Academy. She's a scholarship student who lives with her extended family in three little houses they call Las Casitas. But everything feels different this year, and not just at school, where Queen Bee, Edna Santos, has set her sights on Mercy's school-assigned sunshine buddy, Michael Clark. At home, Mercy's beloved grandfather, Lolo, has been acting strangely, falling from his bike, calling people by the wrong names, and getting angry over nothing. Mercy is worried about Lolo, but no one in her family will tell her what's going on. Just when it seems things couldn't get any worse, something happens that puts everything into perspective and for forces Mercy's family to finally face the issue they've been avoiding. In a coming-of-age tale full of humor and wisdom, award-winning author Meg Medina gets to the heart of the confusion that defines middle school and the steadfast connection of family. Like the book New Kid that I also read this summer, this is a book with the primary focus being on a main character who's not just dealing with the newness of school and sixth grade, but also the hurdle of having to deal with that while also being different from the people around her. She's a scholarship student at a private school and has peers that live in mansions while she lives in a much more humble house. Um, Mercy and her family feel really, really alive, like really, really realistic. And that's why this feels so down to earth. Like Mercy could be somebody that you meet who has a real life that's in class right beside you. Um, the problems that Mercy has to deal with typically stem from really common sixth grade issues. A lot of drama, there's stuck up characters that are just getting in her way all the time. Uh, just really annoying things that are unfortunately in the paths of some people as they start out in a new school or in a new class. The way that Mercy and her family interact and talk to each other also makes this book feel really realistic, really alive. They seem like a real family and doing things like frequently peppering in Spanish with the dialogue that the author does provides a layer of real that I liked. I could see it being frustrating for some people, uh, especially since the author doesn't always give context clues for that. But if you're somebody who's practicing Spanish or knows a little bit of Spanish, that's a neat little extra to have in there. Um, it's interesting that Mercy Suarez Changes Gears was chosen as the 2019 Newbery winner and that New Kid was then chosen as the 2020 Newbery winner because they both share a lot in common. They're both stories where the main characters are navigating through private schools where they both don't fit in due to race and how different they are in other ways from their peers. Where New Kid pulled me in with humor and kind of this breakneck pace, Mercy Suarez Changes Gears is a much slower more methodical, longer book that takes time to get into and time to really appreciate. Whereas New Kid may feel like a quick summer blockbuster in some ways to me, Mercy Suarez felt like one or two seasons of a longer Netflix show. It's not an overly gigantic novel, but the way it paces out its story, it kind of just needs to be taken part by part, piece by piece, just enjoying it for what you get in each of those pieces. You really need to be able to sink your time into this book to appreciate it and to be patient if you want to get the rewards that you're going to get, especially in the latter part of this novel. This is a very, very character focused novel. Again, kind of very different in a way from New Kid, which is much more focused on uh, the plot in some aspects. This is much more focused on the characters getting to appreciate them and their story. The author wants you to feel the things that Mercy is feeling and does a pretty good job of getting that point across during the course of the book. Like most full seasons of a TV show, there's just a lot going on here. Some parts I loved, some I could take or leave. As an adult, only some aspects of the story really pulled me in, but I can see a lot of layers working really well for someone who is Mercy's age, who is in middle school dealing with these issues. The real question is, Will you like Mercy Suarez Changes Gears? 
I would recommend this book for people who enjoy realistic stories about relatable people. If you like reading about school and family drama, as well as real world, sometimes difficult family issues, this is a good book for you, keeping in mind that it does get heavy, especially later on towards the end. If you enjoy reading books with really lovable characters and their families, you will like Mercy Suarez Changes Gears. She is a great character that instantly, I think, will have appeal to most people who read this. If you're a patient reader who's willing to take time to go through a book to get the benefits later on in it, this is good for you. And if you're somebody who's maybe like trying to learn Spanish, there is a whole lot of Spanish in this book. It's very good practice. You get to see words and phrases used in a very realistic way. I would recommend passing on this one if you're just not in the mood for a slower paced book. This is something that you will probably need some time to get through. If you aren't interested in a book mostly about middle grades issues, this might be one to skip because it is heavily focused on the types of issues that middle schoolers commonly deal with. If you're looking for a story that is more plot driven rather than character driven, consider skipping this because it is heavily, heavily character driven. It is mostly focused on Mercy and the things she is dealing with and the story is just kind of peppered in. It feels like sometimes to make that, you know, just tell her story rather. If you don't like or can't handle uh, stories that can get difficult, again, this is one to skip because it does get um, kind of sad in some of the things that it deals with for an elderly character later on in the book. Uh, some things to keep in mind before going into this is that there is a sequel which is supposed to be awesome. I've not read it, but I plan on doing so because a lot of people said they liked it even more than this one. And this book did win the Newbery Medal, which is one of the most prestigious awards out there. So that's pretty high praise. For, the, for me, this book just didn't line up with a lot of things that I personally enjoy. Um, I do like realistic books, but this one focuses so much on middle grades issues that as an adult, it didn't appeal in all the ways that I usually like. I ended up giving it a three out of five stars. I believe that it is a great book and it's gonna be especially great, I think, for some middle grades readers who picked this up. I hope that if you do pick this book up, you love it. Please let me know what you think and thanks for watching.